Hello, welcome to lesson 8, Program Control Statements in C-Sharp, brought to you by Anpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In the last session, we learned the selection statements, which includes if and switch. Right now, we'll explore the iteration statements, which includes for, while, do while, and for each loops. But in this session, I'm going to teach only the while loop. The rest of them will be explored in the coming sessions. To understand the while loop, We'll jump into slide where it is explained. This is while loop slide. While loop checks the condition first. It means that you have to give the condition for the while loop first. The first and the foremost work it's going to do is it will check the condition which is passed. If that condition is true, it will execute the statements within that loop. Whatever the condition present in the if loop, if the condition goes true, will be executed. And this process continues as long as the condition evaluates true. It means that the condition which pass, which you pass in the while loop will execute until the condition is true. Once it, it is false, it will come out of the loop. To understand it clearly, I will fire up the Visual Studio. Then I have created a console project named as control statements. In this solution, I am having multiple projects. One project is control statements and the other one is while loop. Right now, we'll explore the while loop. Now, here I want to write a program such that if user enters input as 20, it should print these numbers, that is even numbers. How to do that using the while loop? We'll see it now. In order to do that, first I should take input from the console, that is I should take the input from the user. Then, using the while loop, I have to print those even numbers. That is, if user enters 20, it has to print the even numbers till 20. That is, 0 to, 0 to 4 continues to 20. First and foremost, I have to take the input from the message. First, I'll give a message to the, cons to the user telling that, please enter the number. Console dot, right line, I'm printing a message to the console asking the user to enter a number. Once the user reads this message, you will enter a number. Now my job is to read that number from the console. I have a function called readLine function which is present in the console class which will read a number from the console. Console dot readLine is the function which will do the work of reading an input from the console. But once I read the number from the console, I have to store it in some variable. So I'll create a variable called target number. Whatever the user is going to enter that number, I'll store that number in a variable called target number and I'll give a data type for it and, and I'll give a data type to it. Since it is a number, I'll take integer as my data type. But compiler still throws error telling cannot implicitly convert type string into int. Now it means that readLine reads the console but it takes in a string format. Now my job is to convert this readLine string format into integer format because the number which is reading from the console will be stored in the integer data type. That is it will be stored in the target number which is of type integer. Now in order to convert the string format into integer format I have a function called I have a parse method for that parse. parse is the method which will convert the string format into integer format and stores a variable into target number. Now once I read the number from the console, my job is, is to print the, num print the even numbers. Now once the user enters the target number, I have to take the target number as my expression while now before this I'll just erase out these things out. Before taking the before coming into the while loop, I have to initialize a I have to initialize a variable and assign a value to it from where it should start. It means that now I want to I'll take a variable called start. Is equal to zero. It means this is the initial value. This is the initial value where 
from where the loop starts loop starts executing it means that if user input enter in entered input is 10 and my loop starts counting from 0 because the output what we want is from 0 so I'm taking the initial input as 0 now I'll call the while loop I'll just type while and tab it twice it will give me a code snippet for that and now I have to write a condition here such that it will print from 0 to the target number it means that it has to start from 0 and it should end 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 till the target number if user enters 20 it should print even numbers from 0 to 20 it means that I have to pass your condition like start less than or equal to the target number and once this condition is passed it has to print a number on the console I'll use the console dot right line to do that work and I'll pass the start variable now you can see in this example since they are even numbers I have to increment the previous number by 2 so what I'm going to do here is I'll add start is equal to start plus 2 now once I do this what happens I'll explain this piece of code once user reads this message on the console he'll enter a number and console dot write read line will read that number in the string format and the pass method will convert the string string format into integer format and stores that number in the target number suppose if user enters 10 and the entered input is 10 now I've initialized a start value that is 0 from where the loop should execute from the starting point of the loop it means that 0 comes here and 0 less than or equal to target number is 10 yes it is true now it print, comes and prints 0 here and it will go back again here start is 0 0 plus 2 now the start value is 2 it will come back here 2 less than or equal to 10 as the condition passes again again it and again it continues executing these lines until the condition fails now at the once the target number is reached that 10 less than or equal to 10 the condition fails it will come back here 10 10 10 is equal to 10 plus 2 that is the start value now it is 12 it go back here 12 less than or equal to 10 condition fails and it executes out of this loop and prints the number on the console now I'll run this program now once I enter 20 before that we'll see this is the output I should get from 0 to 20 now let us check we'll get that output or not yes my program is working efficiently and it provides the output as expected the even numbers from 0 to 20 this is how the while loop works it means that you are giving a condition to the while loop and asking it to execute until that condition passes, until that condition fails. Once the condition is failed, it comes out of this loop and executes. Executes the result on the console window. Now, if I, I'll just run this program once again and I'll give it 20. Now, you can observe the value 0 to 4 and they are printing in the new line they are not printing in the same line if I want to print this 0 next to 2 next to 0 and 4 next to 2 in the same line what I have to do instead of using the right line I'll just use right now if I enter 20 now it's printing in the same line now if I want a space between them I'll do like this and I'll press control F I I'll just press 20 
previously the output we got all 0 2 4 6 were very adjacent and there was no space between them in order to obtain the space between them what did I do is I just passed uh, double quotes with the space between them this is how to get the space between the numbers in the same line and now what I'll do is that's it thank you